Hello, what is up guys? I am Gordon and today we are going to talk about how much RAM is enough for a typical YouTuber who just wanted to edit 1080p videos in terms of PC and laptop. But before that, I'm gonna go to shave myself a little bit and hit the intro. Now that is much better. So today I'm going to make this very short. 4 gate, no go. 8 gate, yeah, sweet spot. 16 gate, totally overkill. 32 gate, well, I don't know why you want 32 gates for 1080p editing, but maybe you want, you know, the bragging rights. So go for 32 gigs if you're damn rich. So typically in a computer, 4 gigs is definitely a no go in today's standard because in a normal running situation, the computer is already eating up three gates with a couple of browsers on. A lot of people have been debating, you know, if you want to play games, eight gig is more than enough. You want to video editing, go for 16 gigs, which I personally think that it is a waste of money. My PC over here is running a 16 gigs DDR4 Corsair RAM over here, and that never goes above eight gigs, which is a waste of money because I only edit 1080p videos. Folks out there who wanted to just purely edit 1080p videos or like a daily vlog or something, you know, YouTube videos, 8 gigs is more than enough. Same goes to the PC, same goes to the laptop. So you don't have to break your bank because price of RAM by the time of this video is crazy high. Okay, so right now I'm in my desktop over here. So I'm trying to, you know, show a much more reasonable thing that you will do in your desktop, you know, like regular folks. So I'm gonna open up some, you know, Google Chrome's because Chrome heat up RAM. Let us open Facebook or something, uh, some YouTube videos. Okay, we got two tabs open, which most likely you are not going to use when you you are editing videos maybe let's say you are searching for tutorials let us uh, open another video or something and then uh, let's go for our video editing software and let us just render for no reason uh, because we can uh, just render a video I just write on render and then render okay we are rendering a video having a couple of tabs and we are just about using let me go for the performance for 0.8 gigs of RAM. I'm rendering videos, having a couple of more tabs open over here. Let us open more. Let us play some videos, you know. Uh, play some videos for no reason. And then let us play more videos, perhaps. Let's play two videos, which is totally unreasonable. Okay, two videos open. And then how many RAMs are we using right now? We are using about 5.2 gigs of RAM. Right now, I'm actually recording using the mic in my uh, computer with Audacity running, as you can see. Yep, with audacity running over here and we are still using less than 6 gigs and I'm rendering a 1080p video in 60 frames per second so just to make things a little much more heavier which is very unreasonable let's open like uh, five more tabs you know uh, let's open some more random Facebook maybe you want to check out some some other girls or something or uh, three random Facebook and do you know what after having like uh, you know seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make it ten. Uh, ten tabs open with two videos running and task manager monitoring. It still use less than eight gigs of RAM, and I still do not understand why people say that you want to do video editing. You definitely need more than eight gigs. So according to this video, I've already proven if you only wanted to edit 1080p videos or maybe a little bit of Photoshop. Let us open Photoshop by the way. With Photoshop Fire Out, we just use a little bit more than six gigs of RAM. So this video have proven that you do not need 16 gigs of RAM just for the sake of editing 1080p videos, even for a 15 minutes long gaming video that I usually do in my other channel. And same goes to the laptop as well. As you can see, laptops in Malaysia generally comes with four gigs of RAM. And most of the time we are forced into situation of thinking, oh, should I add a four gigs of RAM to make an eight gigs, a dual channel eight gigs, or should I add like an eight gigs to make it a 12 gigs or something? I recommend it to use two of the same uh, amounts of gigs of RAM, just 
I don't know, I'm OCD. I'm, I'm not a super PC savvy guy, but this is what I do to my computer. So I just go ahead, hop on for another additional four gigs of RAM in my laptop over here, and it runs practically identical result with my PC. It never goes more than seven gigs. And sometimes it doesn't even go more than 6.5 gigs when editing, you know, with Sony Vegas, uh, editing with uh, Photoshop and stuff and some videos running in the background. And this still doesn't go more than 6.5 gigs of RAM. So practically, if you're a vlogger on the go shooting 1080p videos, who know 1440p works as well. So you don't have to blow your wallet for the sake of getting a 16 gigs RAM of configuration. So that is all for today guys. If you have any question to ask, leave a comment down below and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. Like this video if you like it, dislike this video if you do not like it, subscribe if you haven't already and of course I'm going to see you in the next video. Adios guys and have a nice beautiful day.